Welcome to ConstructionLocate.com, where we'll show you how to dig smart and stay safe using your smartphone with its GPS functionality to capture accurate information about your job site so locate request information can be as accurate as possible, ensuring a locator gets to the job site the first time. Today, we will be boring a communications fiber in the utility easement along Kincaid Street. On-site locates construction locate service works on most smartphones with an internet connection. Simply log in with your username and password to begin collecting your construction site data. Once I've entered my username and password, we can start entering key information about the project, including its name, project number, date construction will start, or date locates will be needed by, time a project will start, in case it will be a non-standard time, like night work, when it will end, and who the alternate contact should be in case I can't be reached. Then we choose what type of job site we'll be on. In this case, we'll be in the right away along Kincaid Street, and we will pre-mark the dig site with white flags and paint. Next, we choose the type of work we'll be doing. In this case, it's a new fiber main, going about a block and a half. We will also be digging a bore pit. Next, we'll describe the technique, the types of equipment, and the depth of the excavation. We'll verify some standard questions before moving on to create a virtual map of the job site. The access point used to calculate driving directions in case a job site is hidden from view. Now we'll start mapping out our actual job site by capturing the GPS point where our bore will begin. It's always a good idea to mark your flags by putting your company name and point number in the capture screen in case there is another project going on in the area. This will further eliminate confusion for the locator. Additionally, we'll mark the ground with white paint in case the flag gets moved. Now let's move on to our second point. We use the same process in the second point as we did on the first. We'll mark our flag with the point number. Again, we'll mark the ground with the white paint. And now on to the last point in our dig site. Now we've come to the end of our dig site. We capture our third and final point, place our flag, mark our location again with the white paint. And finally write our point number on the flag. Now that we have the center line defined, we can pick a 30 foot width of the job site. You can zoom in on the map to see what it looks like. To further verify, everything looks correct. Here the street number and address are provided for review, and we'll search who we're working for. In this case, it automatically comes up with the city of Eugene, who our contract is with. Finally, we'll submit this information to our project manager back in the office, so she can submit the locate request. And we are done with this site. Now I can get back to work on my other projects. After the site superintendent has finished collecting his information and submits it, it is sent directly through email to a project manager or someone else in the office. The email is automatically formatted to display information the way the one call system requests it. The email provides a distance and direction calculation from the nearest intersection, the distance between each point, the driving direction, and other useful information about the dig site. There is also a link to the map of the job site, which can be zoomed, scrolled, or emailed to another person, such as a locator. All jobs are stored in the company admin site, so data can be collected and saved and submitted at a later date. You can sign up for your company's free 30-day trial at constructionlocate.com.